Shalom, Yeshua, I'll give all praise and glory to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because he's worthy to be praised for everything. As always, I'm going to start off with Colossians 317, and whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all. Baha Shalom, I shall give it thanks to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for everything, because he's worthy to be praised for everything. Hallelujah, to his glorious and holy name. Now, I just played footage of Doomsday, you know, these ballistic missiles being shot into the ends of the world and hopefully I'll be able to present them on YouTube so you'll be able to see it. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, Isaiah 19 chapter and verse 2 and it reads and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight every one against his brother every one against his neighbor city after city against city and kingdom against kingdom right so the Egyptians represent our captives you know tell you in Deuteronomy 2868 and the most I go city into Egypt again with ships by the way, wherever I spoke and spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, when you go on these ships, you're going to be sold into your enemies for bond men and bond women. So, no matter how you look at it, the Most High have no respect to persons. He only have respect to Israel, to Israelites, us as a nation. You see, so. Regardless of how you look at it as far as dealing with um, the, these Egyptians are our captives. And right now we're in the captivity under the Edomites, you see, understand over standards, because this is what he's doing. The scripture is saying he's going to set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. So. The modern day Egyptians, just in case you didn't know, look at the back of a dollar bill. You see pyramids, you see. The vibration is Egypt and Babylon. So the modern day Egyptians are the Edomites. He will set them against each other. Because when it goes down, some of you might say, well, it shouldn't happen to uh, all of them because you might say, oh, we wasn't captive in Russia. But see, you got to understand one thing. And when you look at Psalms, well, no, before you go there, let me just show you something. Because a lot of you, you don't realize that the Most High is His way. <laughs> And his way is his only way. You understand? So, this is what he did to his chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, in Ezekiel, the 21st chapter, and I'm only going here for a reason, specific reason. Because as I said, some of you might say, well, it's not talking about modern day situations that we're in now, right? So look what he's doing to show the people. Ezekiel 21. And we're just looking at Egyptian against the Egyptian, right? Son of man, verse 2. Ezekiel 21, 2. Son of man, set thy face towards Jerusalem and drop thy word to, toward the holy places and prophesy against the land of Israel, right? The land of Israel. If you go outside and talk to the ground, what you going to get? Nothing. It's talking about the people that's on the land. We the children of Israel. That's where we come from. And say to the land of Israel, thus said the Most High, Behold, I am against thee, and will draw forth my sword out of its sheath, and will cut off from thee, from the land of Israel, who? The righteous and the wicked. This of his chosen people. So it didn't matter if you was righteous or not. It didn't matter if you were holy roller thinking you were all that. He said he's going to cut off from the land of Israel 
the righteous and the wicked. Verse 4. Saying then that I will cut off from thee, from the land of Israel, the righteous and the wicked. Therefore shall my sword go forth out of his sheep against all flesh from the south to the north. From the south to the north. That all flesh may know that I, the Most High, have drawn forth my sword out of his sheep. It shall not return anymore. So the Most High took the righteous and the wicked in the captivity. That's why when you look at uh, Psalms 83rd chapter, go there, Psalms 83rd chapter, see if he ain't talking about individuals, he ain't talking about no respect to persons. That's all of us. The righteous and the wicked win the captivity of what the wicked done. So, you look at Psalm 83rd chapter. King David said what? Keep not thou silent, O Most High. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Most High. But lo, thine enemies make a turmoil, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. Right? Who are you talking about? That means they, they're in pride. First one in the name is what? Verse 6. The tabernacles of Edom. So what does that make them? The enemies and the haters of the Most High. The tabernacles of Edom. That's the whole nation. You can't get by that. He took the whole nation of Israel in the captivity. To righteous in the wicked. We just read it. So now, just to clear the air on that. Uh, go to Lamentations. Jeremiah crying. Out. Lamentations. Go to the book of Lamentations. See what else. Let me give you a comparison. So when you look at, okay, well, this is happening. Because a lot of y'all be tripping on the fact of what's, what the future results going to be. <laughs> Hear what the most high said. Lamentation 5 and 7. So our fathers, that's our forefathers, have sinned and are not. So we paying the price for our forefathers, what they did, listen to what it say. And we have borne their iniquities. We the children of Israel. Our forefathers have sinned. They sin and are not. Like a lot of them, they say, oh, I want us to have y'all in slavery, put y'all in slavery. But our forefathers was given the laws of the Most High only to the 12 tribes of Israel. And we broke them. We transgressed the more laws of the Most High. Our fathers have sinned, right? And are not. They're not here. And we have borne their iniquity. We, we, we receiving the results of their sins and going into captivity, slavery, and bondage and going through the things that we're going through. So now, Most High said this. Future judgments. And it's, it's a shame because it's not nothing new. Jeremiah saying this in captivity to us. And we ain't listen. That's why he's saying, hey, our forefathers said we carrying their iniquities in captivity. Because most of us say he's going to do that to us. Now, this is what he said he's going to do to these nations. Isaiah 14 21. He said, prepare slaughter for his children. For what? For the iniquity of their fathers. Sound familiar? We were, we were, we were prepared for slaughter, slavery, captivity, bondage until this day. For the iniquity of our fathers. Forefathers. We just read that in Lamentation 5 and 7. He said, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, for what they did. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. It's finished. We in the last days, the very last days. It's finished. So just like he did us, going to do them the same way. You see? That's why he said that. You can't, you can't change the prophecies. Why the most I said, look, go to Revelation 18. It says in verse 10, it says, uh, no, that's the, that's the, the end so, um, yeah, right, first, uh, let's start at verse 4, so, Revelation 18 and 4, it says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, this is from the Most High telling us what, come out of her, my people. 
that ye receive not of her. Wait a minute. Come out of her, my people, that ye be, ye be not partakers of her sins. See? We're not supposed to be doing the things they offer us, all these things. We got to look at is it right or wrong to do? Is it right for me to do the things that the word says that's against the law or the most high? Is that right? Or is it wrong? You got to think, is this right or wrong? Because we're in the last days. And he said people are going to want to die and they're going to be able to die for their pain and suffering that he's going to put upon them. But see, if you already know, then you do what you want to do. You see results. Because he said, come out of her, my people. The mindset and the things that they offer you for sinning. That ye be not partakers of her sins. And that ye receive not of her plagues. Looks like plague in this place. It's going down. For her sins are reached under heaven. And the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Most High remembering the things that she have done. America and all other Edomites and nations that had us in captivity, slavery, and still drinking of the wine of the fornication of this place. He said, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup she have filled, filled to her double. So the things she have done, the most I said, give her double. So instead of one that they killed, but they did whatever they did, gonna be two. Right? That's what the most I say. You say the cup she have filled, the things she have done that's wrong, she gonna get double for it. Right? So if your hair is on your neck is jumping up and standing up. It's okay. It's okay. Because look what happened to us. I'm just giving you a comparison. And that make you more important than the most high chosen people, the Israelites. Because the same thing happened to us. We got double. Well, we did. Let me show you. Go to Isaiah the 40th chapter, verse 1 and 2. Let's see what it says. Comfort ye. Comfort ye my people, said your power, the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished because those, that's the, the warfare is not accomplished to everybody because that warfare is enmity with the most high. That's why he said to James 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulterers. Daughter says, Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Anybody that's a friend of the Most High is the enemy of the Most High. So, enemy means war. So, when you deal with things of the world, you're an enemy of the Most High. You're at war with Him. And it's a fearful thing to tell you in Hebrews 10 and 31 to fall into the hands of the living power. But since some of y'all don't fear Him, that's why I showed the footage to show you what it is that man is able to do. Now they're doing all that, they're not going to destroy the whole world. But they're going to destroy enough people in the millions. Since we got billions of people, it's already in effect right now. So most of us said, come out of her, that you don't receive her, her you don't be partakers of her sins, that you don't receive of her plagues. See, already doing it. People are already dying, but people don't realize it. Oh, it's just like I say, once something happened and pretty soon you get over it, now you back to your wickedness. And the most I gonna deal with you. He said he's gonna give us many stripes. We as Israelites, so we really have to watch what we do and how we operate because right after the most high is no joke. Y'all think you think look what he says. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. See, all those that's 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 uh that's partakers of the, of this this place of sin, America sins. Gonna get it. He gonna deal with them. Those that have come out of this world, that they say set apart from doing all the things that everybody else is doing and just concentrating on 
what you need to do to make it to the kingdom more so than just whatever this world is offering you to kill you to have you die with it that's, that's what you got to understand the world is set up to send you straight to hell if not then show me how they following the moral laws civil laws dietary laws ceremonial laws any of y'all religions or whatever you believe in what are you getting ready for what's the next holy day that the most I say is his day his feast day if thou can say see that's what I say you know you're not really dealing with what it is he said this is my day the Sabbath day every week Sabbath day his holy convocation Sabbath days so you're not doing that so you at war with the most high any of you that's doing things contrary to the most high is the law of commandments and what you know that's right you done went backwards to something else you same way that's why you say your welfare is accomplished for those that are come out of America ways come out of the way that this system would have you to be to follow it to hell you see that's what you see that's hell a real hell when you see nuclear bombs hitting and everything being destroyed 10 million degrees Fahrenheit everything being dissolved and that's what we're gonna look at the scripture says this and he allowed them to have the capabilities to be able to do what they're gonna do it says speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem that's to we the Israelites and crying to her that her warfare is accomplished see the warfare that we had against the Most High and being in the world and them training us to be um, a Christian or all these any other religion that we are have been programmed to think that this is the way and following ignorance being ignorance and gross darkness gross ignorance because that's what he told them to get into darkness well, they, they got into darkness they put the people in gross ignorance if not then answer my question y'all say y'all believe in the most high so how you following him how you following what he created with his finger he wrote with his finger the work of the most high why are you not answering? Y'all supposed to be holier than holier than thou. Sad. He's not talking to you. He's talking to those that are set apart from the ways of this world, the sins of this world, that's not gonna receive of her plagues. A lot of you are already in it. And some of you don't even realize it. It's just most of long suffering, therefore it's might, he might take a little time before he bring forth his judgment, but it's coming. Trust me. He said, but he said, this is for those that have come out of the way of America. Because all nations have drank of the wrath of the fornication of America. Straight up. Nations that took up their, like the Japanese took up their kimonos, now they got on three-piece three piece suits and so forth, looking like Americans. You see? He says, speaking comfortably to Jerusalem, the 12 tribes of Israel, and crying to her that her welfare is accomplished. So all you that are set apart, all you that's really trying to make it to the kingdom, trying to do your best to follow his moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws, and have faith in the most high, this we talk to. That her iniquity, our wickedness, is pardoned. You see? It's pardoned. He said, For she have received of the most high's hand, what? Double. For all her sins. So they gonna get double. Most I just said, we receive double for all our sins. You see the evil Stevens, you see that everything is like, hey, they gonna get this, we got we got that. We got this, they gonna get this. Most high is just. It's just just. So, going back to Isaiah 19. Now that we got that out the way. In verse 2 again. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. That's why you know who got the who got the super, who's super out of earth? America and Russia. You gonna set them against each other, and Russia join right with China, so China gonna be a great part of this too. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother. Aren't they brothers? 
Edomites and Edomites. Right? And everyone against his neighbor. This going to be not only them, but martial law and havoc in the streets. City against city. You hear that? City against city. And kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt, the spirit of the captives, the oppressors, shall fail in the midst thereof. Future prophecy. And I will destroy the council thereof. No matter what they get together to try and bring about, most I say he's going to destroy whatever council they have. And they shall seek to the idols. Because Psalm 96 to 5 says what? For all the gods of the nations are what? Idols. You see that? So they go seek to their idols. And to the charmers. And to them that have familiar spirits. These are the things that they're doing. They're not going to just create these things all of a sudden. They, they're doing these things now. They've been doing these things. And to the wizards. You see? This is what they're going to do. Because when you look at um, Isaiah 47, the most I tell them, whenever he started to deal with them and bringing the judgment upon them, ain't nothing they can do about it. He said, verse, he said, Isaiah 47, 9, he said, But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in a one day, the loss of children and widowhood. I mean, the men going to be killed. The husbands going to be put to death. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries. See? Multitude of thy sorceries. And for, thy, for the great abundance of thine enchantments. There's a reason why the most is doing this. But thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none see of me. Don't nobody see me like a yard. A lot of y'all say, nobody see me. Most I see everything. His eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Behold, all the ways of man, and even the seeker parts. You see, I'll say, nobody see me. They're going to say, nobody see me. I did a lesson on, you don't see me, people. <laughs> thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee, the most I said. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. They're the ones painted that pictures in the Bible. As the Most High of Mashiach, the the children of Israel, they even say that they, they, they the Jews. So about white people. Never shall evil come upon thee, and thou shalt not know from when it come, rises. But evil came upon us. We know what the Most High is going to bring upon us, but we know he said it's going to happen, and it happened. But here the prophecies of the Most High, this prophecy say, evil shall come upon them, thou shalt not know what from whence it rises, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Like we've seen in the, in the, the film footage. When them nuclear bombs, them bomb heads, them IBM missiles was hidden. One million degrees in the middle of them, just dissolving everything. Stand now with thine enchantments. You would have said. In Isaiah 19 to 3, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards, right? What's the difference? Here he is now, saying the same thing. Verse 47, he says, stand now, verse 12, with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, multitude of thy sorceries, multitude of thy witchcrafts, they got people in gross darkness, gross ignorance, not even thinking. Don't even want to think what's right. You tell them what's right, they're still going to do whatever's wrong. And don't even want to repent. Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou may prevail over what it is that's written here. Thou art weird in the multitude of thy counsels. But what do you say about thy counsels? Uh, Isaiah 13. And three, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof. Hmm. 
hear the word of the Most High. Isaiah 47 and 13, Thou art greater than much of thy counsels, but he's going to destroy their counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Hmm. Understand, they shall be a stump. The fire shall burn them. Isn't that what we just seen? They said they're going to be a stubble. That's dried up weeds. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a cold of warm at, no fire to sit before it. Hmm. Understand this? But what it is? Going back to Isaiah the 19th chapter. You see how he's talking to us. He's talking to them. As we bring it forth, what it is he's saying to them. Isaiah 19 and 16. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women. And it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Most High of hopes, which he shaken over it. Just the hand of the Most High doing this. So they're going to be like women. So I say, you look at it and say, all men going to be afraid. Most I gonna shake his hand over this place. What you gonna do when he come for you? Uh, verse 19. In that day shall there be an altar to the Most High in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof uh, to the Most High. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Most High power of hosts in the land of Egypt right here in America, for they shall cry unto the Most High because of the oppressors. This is how we get out of this situation, Yahshua. And he shall send them a savior one time. We need one savior to come. That's what Mashiach Yahweh said. I ain't gonna keep look what he's saying. Isaiah 47 3. It's the last savior that's gonna come. He said, Isaiah 47 and 3. So you're gonna send us a savior, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, like we exposing all the wickedness that. It's happening in this world today. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, he said. And I will not meet thee as a man. So he ain't coming as a man. He coming in this angelic power. Hanging out with Micah out of the archangel of war. To bring forth this judgment that's written here all throughout the Bible. You name it. Who you want to name? What prophet you want to name? Same old, same old. No matter where you go, it's going to be the same thing. That's why he say what? Isaiah 19 and 20, and it shall be a, for a sign and for a witness, and we bring it for the truth in the midst of the land of America. You tell me anyway, because y'all be talking about Israel scattered all over the world, this way, this, that, the third. What country that you can name right now have as many brothers and sisters that recognize that we are Israelites and teaching this truth out of this Bible? Where? Well, as we can compare what we're teaching here in America to what they're teaching in Africa or Europe or wherever that have not been taught by us, where in abundance, I'm saying, as the most high raising us up over here in this Egypt, America. I'm asking because if, if we got to wait for them to catch up to where we at, when we get them, get out of here. I remember going to New York, man, and it's like back in the early 90s, man, they say, Dap Dolly, stand up. We the only ones got the truth. And one brother stood up. I'm like, dang. We got a whole one third of Dap Dolly to, to, to gather together. And only one person standing up? Like, man, there's no way in the world. That we the only ones that have the truth, but it's a lot of, in America, there's a lot of us that have this truth. Not just from one West. I mean, it's a lot of Israelites. When you compare us that's bringing forth this truth in America to some other country, he's going to gather us, but they're going to have to learn. Isaiah 19 and 20. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the most high power of hope, power of homage, power of angels in the land of Egypt, 
where they shall cry unto the Most High. Egypt, Egypt means captivity, slavery, and bondage. Exodus 20 and 2. You know. And Egyptians are oppressors. Listen. For they shall cry unto the Most High because of the oppressors. And he shall send them a savior. We just read about the savior that's coming back to meet them not as a man. As we're bringing forth all the shameful things that they've done. Shame on you so-called white man. In all the rest of the nation. And two-thirds of you Israelites. Because you just like the oppressor. Sometimes you get a position you worse than the oppressor. And he shall send them a savior. We cry to the most high. He gonna send us a Mashiach Yahusha. Who ain't coming as a man. He said I'm coming in his angelic power. And a great one. And he shall deliver them. Hear that? He gonna save deliver here. Means he gonna save us from our from the hand of our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. Yes. Sound good to me. And the Most High shall be known to Egypt. And Egyptians shall know the Most High in that day. You know that? The oppressors, they're going to know the Most High in that day. And shall do sacrifice and oblation. Yeah, they shall vow a vow unto the Most High and perform it. And the Most High shall smite Egypt. Smite me, he's going to kill Egypt. He shall smite and heal it. And they shall return even to the Most High. And he shall be entreated of them. And shall heal them. And uh, this also dealing with. With us. You know. Being caught up. In the ways of. Like he said come out of her my people. And we didn't come out. And now we coming out. And he healing us. And they shall return even to the most high. And he shall be entreated of them. And shall heal them. Healing us. That's why he said, look, Hosea 6 and 1. He looking at us. Look at Hosea 6 and 1. Because you know how we are. Me and one of the heathen and learn the wakes of the heathen. Hosea 6 and 1. Come and let us return it to the most high. For he have torn and he will heal us. Like he just said, right? He tore us apart because we didn't follow what he said to do. And he going to heal us. He has smitten. And he will bind us up. That's why he binding us up now. Little by little. After two days, after 2,000 days, 2,000, excuse me, 2,000 years, will he revive us. And 2,000 years is over. In the third day that we're in now, he will Raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. That's why I say, hey, comfort you, my people. Our warfare is over. It's just a matter of when he's going to determine to sit on my shackle shy back here as these prophecies that's written happen, as we know what they what's supposed to happen, and we see it happening, and we come out of the way of being Egyptians, being like them. You know, we, we, we are, <laughs> wow. Isaiah was dropping it, man. <laughs> Look, Isaiah 30th chapter. Uh, let's start at verse 1. Woe to rebellious children, said the Most High, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit. They ain't trying to learn this truth, that they may add sin to sin. So you're supposed to be knowing this. When he come back, you're supposed to be knowing something. He ain't come back for no novices. He come back for somebody that just say, oh, I'll just take my time, and since he come back to teach us a thousand years, so I, no. He ain't starting from scratch. Not all the work that we have done, it's not in vain. You better be trying to get as much as you can get. <laughs> Listen, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked of my mouth. See, there you go. That's why we, he called us Egyptians. You want to go to the oppressor. You want to go to find and follow what they tell you to do. They offer this and you take it. Even though you know it's destroying you. And come up with excuses and say, oh, I can't help it. Well, you go, most of you go help it when he tear your butt up. 
listen, that, wa that walk to go down into Egypt, that's why he called us rebellious, and have not asked of my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Hear that? Strengthen themselves in the strength of whatever the political leaders are saying that are not our people, that, are, that we ain't supposed to even have over us. But whatever they say do, that's what you do. The strength of Pharaoh to trust in the shadow of Egypt. You the you a you a dang the, the shadow of Egypt, the shadow of the so-called white man. That's who you are. You representing that. That's what he's saying. Making me something different. The political system that they have set up is your strength, and you trust in the shadow of Egypt. Whatever they say, that's what you do. Therefore, said the strength of Pharaoh. Be your shame. That's why he said, come out of her, my people. That ain't hard. It's just you're rebellious, like he's saying. In the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. That's why you're confused. Now you didn't deal what they say, dude. Now you are jacked up. For life. Verse 9. That this is rebellious people, lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Most High. We ain't under no law. We gotta follow the law of the land. We got white man is our, our God. We gotta follow what he say, dude. But we ain't gotta follow the both sides. So who is your power? You cannot tell me that you gotta follow the way of this world and the things that he says. Some things you you don't have to follow. But he have laws that set up. You don't have to follow. You don't have to be involved in that at all. But you gonna stand up for it? No, you say you stand up so wholeheartedly for it. it so almost like say this is rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Most High. Y'all screaming hollow when I say you're in the law. That's why I say it so much. Because I know it. You hate what the Most High has done. You hate what he's created with his finger, what he wrote with his finger. You're going to come up with an excuse, you'll point the finger at me. It's okay. I don't care. I, you can point the finger all you want to. It ain't, most I said, hey, it ain't you that they hate, it's me that they hate. That was the most I'd say. It ain't no different than it was here, now and forever, man. That's our people. They don't want to hear the law of the most high. That's why I'm asking you, which one of y'all churches, which one of y'all religions keep the moral laws, the civil laws, the dietary laws, the ceremonial laws? Which one? The thou can say. That's why he's telling you. We we'll say to the seers, those that come forth, See not, don't be looking at me. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell us what's right according to the Most High. We don't want to hear that. They'll point the finger at me because I'm bringing it out that you're rebellious and wicked and evil. But the Most High is the one you got to deal with. Like it says, Hebrews 10 31. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power because you're hearing what he's saying. I'm not, all I'm doing is reading what it says. We say to the seers, see that, don't be looking at us. Don't be looking at me. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto the right things. So that's why a lot of y'all in the have have your ears in the world, worldly ways. That's what satisfies you. Because you're wicked and evil and not really dealing with the most high. And he ain't dealing with you. The scriptures say some people are praying to themselves. Or they're praying to the devil. And the devil is right there listening to them. Because they evil. They ain't right. If you ain't doing what's right, how are you? praying to the most high he said you praying to yourself you got egos you got uh, pride you're not satisfied with being the chosen of the most high being called into this to be one of the chosen you know I can lift you up everybody else can lift each other up who can't lift yourself up to think you all that we ain't nothing I'm not nothing not in my mind to be prideful and all that? No, I know that's that's a disastrous type of mindset. But listen to what he say. Prophets are not unto us right things. Don't tell us what's right according to the word of the Most High. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. Tell us lies. Lift us up like we somebody that we ain't. I don't need you to lift me up. I'm going to be lifted up by this word. And the Most High going to make sure that as I'm standing on the word, that there's a blessing. He said it. He's not a major lie. But if you ain't going to stay here and you expect him to deal with you, 
in righteousness and blessing you. That's contrary to what he said. Do what I say, do I'm going to bless you. Don't do what I say, do I'm going to bring these curses on you. From Deuteronomy 28, 15, all the way to 68. They ain't over. We ain't up out of here yet. That's why I say, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Look, he say who he love, he chastens. <laughs> so what do you think he'll do that he don't love? <laughs> you don't understand that. You ain't trying to make him love you. Because you do whatever you want to do. How you want to do. So now I established that we follow in the shadow of the Egyptians, of Egypt, the pharaohs, all the things that they tell us to do. Going back to Isaiah 19. Verse 22, and the Most High shall smite Egypt. He shall smite and heal it. You see? And they shall return even to the Most High, and he shall be entreated of them and shall heal them. He going to heal us. In that day shall there be a highway out of Egypt, out of America to Assyria, and the Assyrians shall come into Egypt, and the Egyptian into Assyria, and the Egyptians shall serve with the Assyrians. Assyrians. Everybody that put us in captivity going into slavery. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. He that leave into captivity shall go. He want to have an ear, let him hear first. He said, he said, he that leave into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the faith and the patience of the saints. There it is. So they all going to serve. The Egyptians, Hamites going to serve with the Assyrians. Both of them had us in captivity. That's what he's saying. Isaiah 13. And I want to go to Second Ezra first. Second Ezra is 15. So we're going to get to the destruction that we've seen that's coming. Because it's all written here. And matter of fact, we can go to the Bible yesterday and it tells you about what's going to happen. Well, second Ezra is 15 and 14 to say woe may destruction to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw not draw near and one people shall stand up to fight against another now we read in Isaiah 19 chapter verse 2 and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom, right? Warfare. So it said, Woe, second Ezra 15, 14. Woe, destruction to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, which draw near. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. Sound familiar? Just what we just read. And swords in the hand. Why do they swords and guns in their hands? For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. They shall regard no political leaders or no military or no police department. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Like we read and have read. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. What we just read is. <laughs> that's warfare, racial warfare every man's hand against his neighbor now we talk about martial law a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride you know, he already told us in 2nd Ezra 8 and 51 50 so that's 854. Many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Why? Because they have walked in great pride. So what are you saying? Second so Ezra 15 and 18. Most I speak one shade twice. Man perceive it not. He say, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So I say men are gonna be like women. That's why I said women, men are going to be like women. <laughs> uh, Isaiah 16, excuse me, 19 verse 16. And that day shall each be like unto women. What does it say? <coughs> <coughs> Second Ezra 
So in verse 15 and 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. They're going to be like women. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods, rob whatever they have because of the lack of bread, lack of food. Biden said food shortage. So this got to happen before the missile's going to be shot into the end of the world. Understand all standards. For the lack of bread and for great tribulation, catching a lot of hell in these streets. <laughs> this ain't no joke, y'all. You know. Don't take it lightly. Uh, Isaiah 13. I'm not saying I was shy. I went to Isaiah a lot. Because that's all he had to go by was, was the law and the prophets. That's it. Isaiah 13 and 14. He said, And it shall be as a chase rope, chase deer. And as a sheep that no man taketh up, they shall every man turn to his own people. And flee every one into his own land. And where are you Israelites going to? Judah, where are you far fluent? Where are we going to? We used to have the land of Judah. It don't even exist no more. Where are we going to flee to? We don't have no land. We're going to be right here. Wherever you are, you're going to be right there. Because every all these others are going to flee into their own land. Everybody got a land, but we don't have any land. Hmm. Everyone that is found shall be thrust to. Going to be killed. Everyone that is joined into them shall fall by the sword. So you join into them, holy matrimony, because most of you with no interracial marriages, point blank. Prove that in the Bible. You post, I mean, preacher, prove that in the Bible. He said, we folks, he made every man to have his own wife of his nation and multiply it. He said, everyone that's joined into them shall fall by the sword. See, their children also should be dashed to pieces before their eyes. I mean, this, this is what happened to our children. You know, I've showed it in picture form in a book called Destruction of the West Indies by Bartholomew de la Casas. There's pictures all throughout the book. But they did our babies like this. Hung us on gallows, put fires underneath our feet. When they came here in this Western Hemisphere, as we watched our babies being dashed against the stone. So that's, what he, that's what he said. Double under her as he done to you. She gonna get double. We got double. That's double. That happened to us. They gonna get the same thing. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Let me see. Just in case some of y'all might be just checking me out for the first time. Let me make sure that you understand. I'm not just talking off the side of my neck. You tell me the most I ain't powerful. First picture I pull pull out is it. Come on. You tell me that the most high. <laughs> Can you see it? You see? Wait a minute, let me get it right. Pull it back here. You see that? This from the book. The destruction of the West Indies. You see what they're doing? Let me make sure you, I can show it. See it, see it, right? See them dash, see it. I can tell you that on gallows. As they barbecuing us. You see the little boy? Baby they got get ready to dash against the stone. Understand this, overstand this. You see that? It's just the truth. So that happened to us. So it says, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. Mm -hmm. So these are the things we're looking at. Um, in verse 19, it says, in Babylon, representing America, the glory of kingdoms, superpower of the earth, the beauty of the child deeds, excellency, excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. He destroyed it with fire and brimstone. 
it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in for generation to generation. Neither shall it, and the raven pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and saturns shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. But you know it's coming. Isaiah 54 and 14. Isaiah 54 and 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. So, <coughs> thou shalt be far from oppression with his rights. And those that's going to, the, the remnant of those that's going to come into the kingdom. But it's mainly talking to the Israelites because the Most High gave us his law, such commandments, only the children of Israel. But everybody got to learn. Righteousness. What's righteousness? Deuteronomy 6.25. That's why I say, it behooves anyone that have an opportunity to look at all this truth that's coming out to start learning. <clears throat> have a chance to be part of the remnant that's going to be serving under the new IRS. It's right receiving services forever and ever and ever. Deuteronomy 6.25. And it shall be our righteousness. <clears throat> If, if we observe to do all these commandments before the Most High our power as he hath commanded us. You see? So it's saying in Isaiah 54 and 14 <clears throat> in righteousness shall thou be established. See? That's why he told us look Ecclesiastes 12 and it's 13. He said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High. That's what we need to be saying. That's what I'm telling you. Fear the Most High. You know, that's what I keep saying. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. You can do whatever you want to do. But it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. You think you want to avoid his hand? Hmm. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. It's a conclusion of everything. Fear the Most High, it says first. This before repenting. Before keeping the commandments, he say, fear the most high and keep his commandments. You see? Repent because we done done wrong. And keep his commandments. Change. But fear the most high and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Why? But the most high shall bring every work into judgment. Everything we've done in these mortal bodies.